Today, we will have Ernie Brooks. I've been a fan of Ernie for many, many years. And the first time I met Ernie was actually on my first Deemer in 1992. And then he'd been my inspiration ever since. And the reason I stopped sharing is because remember this? I, oh yeah, I remember that, right. 1994 yeah. cover of Ocean Realm, January edition. Spot. It's so good, I have two. <laughs> I'm not going to sell it. <laughs> and here, I learned, it's a lesson, a series of lessons by Ernie called Seeing the Light. Oh. That's a good title. That's really what it is. And too. learn so much from here through the years. It's always, I always refer back to this series, Seeing the Light. Imagine, remember the magic fingers? All the, 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 the Gorgonian fans? But, and then, I also received this book from Ernie. This is, this is a limited edition. It's amazing. Ah. Very few people in the world. This is very special. Well, the joy of being a photographer is, is so special. And to have that be your life uh, with your images. That you do. And then following in the footsteps of others in your life uh, to really take you on your way. I mean, I remember when I was just a young kid and I was just ho hoping. So, Ernie, this Earth Day, your, your picture from the Antarctic Road Trip is being used as a poster print in China. It's shared all over the social media in China just a few days ago. Remember the penguin pictures of yours? That's your picture. So what are inspirations and putting your work to, putting your arts to work in China? It looks beautiful. I'm so happy with how that turned out. Yeah. yeah. And the moment that that happened, that, that it occurred, I remember, the rest of the people on our journey were over the top of the hill. And I waited back and I waited for these two to come walking in front of me. And it was just, it was, it was so fast and just click. And that was it. And it was all over. And I love the image. And it really states what we were there for. We, you know, we were there to look and to see and, and to witness the high Arctic, the Antarctica. And uh, that said it for me too. Thank you, Michael. Well, you must make plan to come back with us in 2022. Yes. Oh, okay. Okay. Good. We've got him. Away We've got go. him. Where you go, Alex? All right. Hang on one Where second. You? I'm just going to move a couple <laughs> things. Moving a couple things. This is nice. Let us know when you're ready to start the show. Yep. It'll be just a couple minutes because I'm going to do a quick, well, not, not quick, but as quick of a bio as I can possibly do for somebody like Ernie. <laughs> so here we go. For anyone uh, who doesn't already know who this amazing guy is who is sharing our screen, uh, let me tell you a little bit about our favorite guy, Ernie Brooks. So Ambassador to the Marine Environment, photographer, adventurer, diver, and educator. Ernest H. Brooks II was born to be a photographer, and I do believe that. His Portuguese ancestry, rich in men of the sea, virtually ensured the ocean environment would play an important role in his life. Throughout his long tenure as the head of Brooks Institute, he carried out the duties that come with that corporate territory, including keynote speaking at international conventions, working with national and international organizations and companies to enhance the industry, and ensuring photographic education and promoting photography as a universal language. As a noted professional photographer, educator, and ambassador to the industry, Mr. Books has won international acclaim for underwater photography and audiovisual presentation. His work has been exhibited in the Metropolitan Museum of Art, Monterey Bay Aquarium Shark Exhibit, Yugoslavia Man in the Sea, Our World Underwater, Smithsonian Planet Earth, and was also honored by the Smithsonian Institute in January of 1995. Mr. Brooks has been a trailblazer in the development of underwater photographic equipment and technique, and has witnessed great industry advances. 
His photographic legacy, legacy is the evidence that has illustrated changes in our environment, while he himself remains a tremendous voice uh, in our need to witness the effect of that change. So that's a bit about Ernie, and he's just wonderful to go diving with, and you probably have heard him mentioned as the Ansel Adams of underwater photography. Ernie's black and whites will absolutely never be forgotten and have sort of changed the way that people see the underwater world, um, especially with regards to the way he sees light. So I am very happy to uh, let us get going with Ernie's wonderful presentation. Yeah, it's, it's an honor to be with you. It's a, it's a joy in my heart to, to allow um, our lives to pass this way. It's fabulous. Uh, of course, at my age, we didn't have any of this digital technology at all. We, we to take a photograph, we uh, loaded the film in our camera and we made our shot and we processed it at night. And in the morning, we hung up the negative, of course, and did the printing. And so it's a joy to be with you to share, to share some of my life. I really appreciate that. And Ocean Geographic, of course, has led many, many wonderful trips and I've enjoyed being with them. And you'll see many of those tonight. You're about to see some of my favorite images from our, our ocean planet. I was born to be a photographer. My father was a portrait photographer and color photographer many years ago. And here I am following in his footsteps in 1939. He had his 8x10 camera. I was raised with film. And you expose for the highlight, and process for the ratios. And walking in someone's footsteps is something that has been a joy for me all of my life. My daughter, Debbie Brooks, when she was 28 months old, I love to focus on her eyes in the negative and dissolve it into positive. And here's looking at you through her eyes. And as she grew, her expressions also grew. The joy, the thrill of being my daughter. Photography should make you feel good if it's done properly. There's a place for it in eternity. And that's the joy about being a photographer. I started when I was very, very young. I've been diving all of my life. I've been diving for almost uh, 72 years. And it's, uh, it's been a joy. I'm 85 today. I love photography just as I did from my very, very first time I made an exposure here under the waters off Santa Barbara, photographing commercial divers in their helmets and seeing me in the reflection was such a joy. The quiet, the feeling. Diving deep into our oceans has been a joy to see the creatures before me in this deep submersible by General Dynamics. The offshore oil industry off Santa Barbara is where I started doing my serious work for commercial work. Here a hard hat diver on his decompression chamber in 200 feet of water. Devil's Hole, Death Valley, California, 1960. Beautiful looking up at the opening on the planet with a diver descending. Following in the footsteps of Dr. Hans Haas, photographer, the Castro organization has been such a joy. And photographing Dominic Sumian with his Castro gear. A mobile spot off the Channel Islands of Santa Barbara, California, many, many years ago. Photographing on the kelp beds off Santa Cruz Island 
and seeing the beautiful designs that nature has provided for us to view, to photograph, to capture in eternity. Special moments when in just an instant, she comes right before you, she stops gracefully, and you're ready to expose and to record her. Winged Angel. Pirouette, the same animal, just standing on her nose in front of me. I'm sure she knew I was there. That's the joy. And looking up, look up at the day star your sun when you're diving, and hear a jellyfish is just passing before the sun. A simple statement, 125th at F8. Don't be afraid to photo photograph into the sun. Uh, it may blind your eyes, but your camera, you can expose for it. Expose for that highlight. Set your shutter speed so they can capture every moment. The other joy in my life is my beautiful 1930, 68 foot per saner, just love. Off Sudal Island, Santa Barbara where thousands of students over the many, many, many years came to be with me to dive beneath the California's coastal areas. I love the kelp. Looking up, making a statement, floating on the surface, the quiet, the feeling, the joy. My students had the same feeling as I did when they first entered the water and swam with these beautiful sea lions. Today the cameras are smaller, they're all digital, but I love the days of film when you make the exposure, the evening you process your film, and in the morning you look at the negative and to see if you wish to print it or not. Only 10 exposures on my camera. Special moments moments that live on in your life. Costa Rica, looking up toward the sun with a passing fish, just a millisecond of time before they passed, but it was recorded forever. And that's a joy also being a photographer, of printing your work and having it in display in museums and galleries throughout the world. And the macrocystis, the beautiful kelp, and the designs of the kelp. Seen from one angle, right in the front, and then a few seconds later, off to the side, the same piece of kelp, and looking back into the sun. Move around. Enjoy the liquid that water provides, and the quiet, and the feeling. And capture the moment forever. My magnificent blue shark, 125th at F8, came within eight inches of my lens, right before me, put a fire right in the center of my Hasselblad camera system, and click, it was over and she was gone. But the memories live on forever. Just passing by, one moment in time, a millisecond in your life, to see the beauty, the design, the shape. I love water. I believe all of us that do dive love water. And whether they're the waterfalls and different rivers and lakes or going into the ocean, it's just beautiful, the feeling and the sound. I love looking up and I also love flying and to pass by these beautiful clouds that remind me of different animals that I've seen on land. But it's beautiful to be able to fly by those and to capture on film how they, how they feel, how they look, how they reach high above. Tupa de Harif in the Sulu Sea, Lynn Montauser diving down from the surface to help me with my image divers passing by, 
As a photographer, make a statement with your work. Say what you wish to say and capture the moment. Create your images so when people look close, they can see the design that you wish them to see. And keep it simple. And that's why I love black and white. This is the winner of the International Year of the, of the Reef in Yugoslavia years and years ago. A simple design, a figure S in the coral. One exposure. My camera system only has 10 exposures by Super White House of Light. So I take the time to make sure that I get it right the first time. And look close at what you're photographing and bring people in contact and look at the fish right in the center, blending in with the design, safe at home. Looking up, just looking up at those passing by. That's what's so beautiful about our ocean, about our ocean planet Earth. And high above, as one day ends and one day is about to begin, the closing of a day, the rising of the moon with beautiful light cast upon the upper clouds. Special moments in time. And my beautiful trips to the Antarctic with Ocean Geographic many years ago, just photographing this one penguin passing by right in front of my lens. And a 70 millimeter camera, one exposure, one click, and making a statement about how they must feel also. And that's what's, that's what's powerful about the right images in the right place, to make a statement that lasts forever. My music has always been by Ernesto Cortazora on my programs, blending my images to his music. I have the feeling of light passing by. And this is for all of you. This is my family, my, my son and my two daughters. And this is my family too, my father, myself when I was 18 dressing my mom in with the diving gear and my engineer who designed my housings many, many years ago. A lot of years ago, in fact. My sister Joyce and I with my, my Rolloflex for Voight Rubber Company doing an ad for them many years ago again. Joyce is 87. And with Michael Au for Antarctica to photograph and infrared these beautiful, beautiful, majestic mountains covered in ice, thousands of years old, and to make a statement. The quality of light, the quality of scene, and being there, and thinking about Shackleton and the great expeditions marvelous to be there, to be on journeys with other photographers and writers and scientists, and to look deeply into the crevices and see the magnificent glaciers, thousands of years old, and ice that's been formed from the beginning of time. The winged wall, a beautiful, beautiful glacier that Michael I and I came across and we were both photographing at about the same time and it lives forever. Whoever knows the age, timeless, and the quality which is so gorgeous. And that's what makes it all work for real. So venture out, go to distant lands, go to different places and wait for the white light to shine upon the things that you really wish them to shine upon. And then photograph 
in that instant what you really want to say in your images and how you feel. A feeling that's forever. I love being a photographer. I'm glad I followed in the footsteps of those who made my career happen. There's nothing like the journey to be able to record where you've been and how you feel and to capture the magnificent essence of this beautiful planet, planet Earth. And while we're doing so, we also should be very, very concerned about what's happening to our planet and the warming that's occurring and the glaciers that are melting in the high Arctic this day. And to really get a, a handle on climate change and get your images out there so the scientists can see them and examine them and look at the icebergs that are floating there today, not pure white, but stained, stained in gray from something passing overhead possibly. Make a statement, and that's the joy. That's the joy of being a photographer and seeing and witnessing magnificent things that are happening on our planet. Like this lone polar bear who came across in the high Arctic, standing on the ice fields all alone, wondering if her food source has disappeared, wondering which direction to take when everything is melting around her. We need to make these statements clear. We need this to be seen by everybody on this beautiful planet and to make change. That's the joy of my work in photography. And I hope you can make a difference. I hope many of my images that we witnessed this evening can be, be felt in your heart and not only through your eye. Not only in our language that we speak, but in the images that we put in front of the audiences. Make them stay. Make them, make them part of your life. Make them powerful. And make change in a positive way. For all mankind, for all humankind, for all animal kind, on this beautiful water planet, such a joy. And my best wishes to all of you. May your life be fulfilled. And I hope and sincerely hope that your photography can help make a difference on our planet in a positive way. Best wishes. Thank you so much for listening and for being part of this great audience around the world. I, uh, You're I'm muted, Michael. Here, and it looks like there's another, another person that looks familiar. It's a fan from France. You stay up, it's 3 a.m. in the morning. She stay up and say hello to you. <laughs> Hi, Hermie. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's a real surprise. <laughs> what we live in to be able to do this. And, and then, uh, around our, around our, it's marvelous. Isn't that the wonderful photographs that we have? That's great. That's great. Uh, oh, it's, like a, it's, <laughs> it's a very, uh, very good surprise. And I'm, I thank you so much, Michael, because it was a pleasure to see you again after so many years in Antibes. Many, many, many years, right. Yeah, with the <laughs> festival. And I follow, okay, I follow all your life. Okay, but this moment is magical for me. And I just to react about what we look and um, thank you for Alex Rose to see all this picture. And I'm sorry for your speech because it was a little uh, very far for the sound, but the, um, the feeling now is my heart is something so beautiful. You stay, I think for all my life, you said my, 
mentor. And and a, lot, a lot of people, Marine, yes. don't realize, I only have one eye. I don't, I don't see out of this eye at all, you know? So I'm, I see like my camera. <laughs> <laughs> so good to see you. So nice. This is wonderful. This is wonderful. Yeah, yeah. Mike, yeah. Tony, what we're going to do is that we're going to uh, record your, your narration again and fix the sound so everybody can enjoy the beautiful you know, po poetry emotions with you later when we put it up as a whole program. Can we do that? Yeah. 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 Good. Right. Um, shall we? Any questions from anybody before we close up with Ernie? I'm gonna have a look real quick. Um, it is so. Back to the main question: Do you have an extra copy of that beautiful book that somebody stole from me? That's true. This one, Michael. That's the one. Yes, Silver City. <laughs> this is one. This my book, Alex. Is it my book? No. Are you sure? <laughs> is that? I'm sure. Look. Look. It's yeah, it's yeah. signed it's signed to me. <laughs> it's my <laughs> book. My book. Somebody stole from my house. Yeah. yeah. Oh, um, no. like, like, like I was telling you, I have a lot of cards I would love to send to people who've been oh yes going tonight. Yes. You know, and it would be it'd be lovely to have a personal personal note, and that's important. It really is. It really let is. let me make an announcement about that real quick. So for anyone who's watching, Ernie has very generously offered to send everyone cards with his beautiful images on them. So um, how about you email us um, okay. at Ocean Geographic, and then I can forward all of you the addresses so they'll mm -hmm. all be collated together. So um, if you want to email me, um, my email is a rose at ogsociety.org. And you can just send them right to me, um, give me your name and your physical mailing address, and then I'll send them to Ernie. But you have to be on the show to qualify. You have okay. to see that you're on the show. You can Fair enough, show Fair enough. Or here to qualify for this gift from Ernie. Thank, Thank you, you so much, Ernie. It's amazing, it's hard, so heartwarming, and it, I need a box of tissue right now. I know, uh, always gets me, always. <laughs> Have a good um, evening. Nice seeing you, Maureen, and uh, we hope to see you again uh, in France yeah. soon. Yeah. Uh, thank bye you, Sally. Oh, you're welcome. I didn't bye help bye. as much as I thought I could. <laughs> thank <laughs> you so much. We're going to come again soon to do the narration. So yeah, we'll bye figure bye it out. And good bye evening, bye. good morning. Thank you. Thank you. Great. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Let's see what do I do now. <laughs>